<laughs> okay, well, first, congratulations, guys. I've been lucky enough to see a majority of the episodes for the show so far, and it's absolutely wonderful. Um, so my first question for you, both of you, is what drew you to this series? First of all, Georgia Hunter's book. I think it's such a great book. It's a bestseller, and I it's no wonder it is. And then right after came Erica Lipez that, you know, made this book into a series and her pages, every time you flip through a page, the writing is so vivid and so lively. Uh, and I think it's a very important story to tell. Even today, we were the lucky ones is a, is a story, a, a human story and a bond of a family, but also is a good reminder for everyone of what happened. And again, of what cannot happen ever again. So I think it's a, a an important message of a human story and a great reminder of of the tragic that occurred in Europe and just not too long ago. Yeah. Um, I completely agree with you, Michael. Uh, Michael. For the first time. <laughs> yeah, it does that. That's not that doesn't happen a lot. Um, As but a husband and wife, we have to disagree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I'm 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 always right though. So, um, it's true, and you're thin. But anyway, um, no, I think uh, the book is, it's a very, very unique book. Um, and and the show is exactly the same. Like the, the script of the show is exactly the same. There's something just so intimate and in a way very simple about it. But it just like, it just draws you in. You feel so connected and you're just like spending time with these human beings. It's not like a huge... Uh, it's it's not like you're reading this book about this historical event. It's like it is, but you just you're with the people as they're just trying to figure out life, and this is happening to them. So I never read something actually about the Holocaust and World War II where I felt like, oh, this is how it felt like to be a human being in that time and to try and understand what the hell is going on. And I found it so special um, and beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And for both of you, your characters go through some very harrowing experiences throughout the entirety of this season. Um, so for both of you, how do you prepare for those types of scenes? I mean, they happen quite a bit, but like, how do you prepare? How do you even unwind from those types of scenes after you've filmed, after you wrapped? Well, it's hard. There was a very supporting team that was uh, keeping us all together. You know, from Hulu, there was like a, a group therapy even once a week if anyone needed something to express and to kind of, as you say, unwind from, from a harsh scene. But I think what made it so um, possible and so great uh, to even dive into those scenes and come out of them is the people of the cast and crew that were with us. I mean, such a, such great people that, you know, created this family uh, are actually people that feels that they feel like family even offset. So you know, we, we just have fun together. So in a way, it's it's it, almost harsh to say that it was fun filming this, even the harsh scenes, because you have such great people next to you and they make you feel that you're not alone and you're doing this together and you just enjoy spending time with them. So I think this is the magic of the show as well. Yeah. You know, the, this bond that is created between the, the cast members uh, also is the same bond of this family. Yeah, we made, we really made lifelong uh relationships in those in this show yeah. like uh i mean i'm not gonna speak to you after i mean this interview, not, not yeah. michael but like other people like i'm not talking about this guy but yeah we had um like i we have we really made friendships that are real and beautiful so we had each other um but i gotta say for me I know I'm an actor, you know, even when you do these scenes, you're like, yeah, you're not this, method. This, you're this not method not, like. I'm not method. Yeah, <laughs> this is not really happening to me. We're going to do this, then we're going to cut, then I'm going to have lunch. It, not to be disrespectful, I, this is a very beautiful story and you do feel it when you're doing it. But but in, in terms of like keeping Action yourself, cuts. keeping yourself safe when you're doing such uh, dark material is just knowing that your life is OK and you're telling an important story, but you are really lucky to just be telling that story and not to be living through it. So, yeah. Um, well, thank you, both of you, for talking with me today. I am extremely excited for everyone to see the series. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you.